Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. performance and um to learn you know Robert Ayers brought something different to the table good movement you know he's a guy that's had um 200 plus amateur fight he turned pro and keep the amateur style so it's good from six or eight he's a bit more raging than I thought he was I thought he was coming to fight he didn't came to fight so you know I did what I could do set a good tempo tracked him down man he got a good man you know <coughs> he seemed to um start quite well but then you sort of nullified it and took over is that how you saw it, was it hard to adjust at first? Yeah, you know, listen, he, he, he was always going to be a fight like that because he was a strong guy, you know, he looked for the good um, straight punches, so I had to do something different and made some adjustments, so, and that's what fight is about, it's about being able to see what's happening and make adjustments as you go along. You know, I'm relatively inexperienced, so I'm learning the job, you know, as the fights go on, I'm seeing more and learning as, as the fights actually unfolded. Dylan did. Did he hurt you in them first, in the first, uh, first or second round? He landed a good punch in the second. You know, I mean, um, you know, he landed a good punch in the second. Wasn't really hurt, but you know, maybe re reassess the situation and, and um, reassess my approach. Did you notice that he was looking at your feet a lot in, during the middle rounds? No, I didn't notice. You didn't that. notice that? No, no. I was no. Just trying to do what I was trying to do. I was trying to find a way to nullify his range and his movement. Deontay Wilder said he would be watching. What do you think he would have made of your performance? I've got no idea. He might want to take the fight now. Yeah. <laughs> I think if, if he would have knocked him, maybe it was a plan. If, if, if Dillian would have knocked him out in the first or second round, maybe he wouldn't have taken it. Yeah, exactly. I think Gillian is technically a better boxer than what Deontay Wilder is. <coughs> what do you think of the chances, Eddie, person, of, of making that fight happen? What the noise uh, on, on a serious note, you know, it was, it was a good performance from Dillian, but I think he. he will admit as well it wasn't a blistering performance so therefore you actually it, you might end up working it to your advantage I think that Deontay Wilder's fighting next week on Showtime and Sky Sports defending his title we're ready to go February the 3rd at the O2 we've got it booked uh, I spoke to Stephen Espinosa about it this morning at breakfast he's going to talk to Al Heyman they like the fight um, if Deontay Wilder will travel there is a, an easy fight to be made February the 3rd for the WBC title in London and it opens up the division you know because I think this is this is where it's at in the UK so um, you know I, I think it would be a good idea for him to travel